Picture this. You're thinking about buying a new home or condo, and there's already low supply, and City Council just drops the ball money. An increase to developmental charges to builders in Toronto. I'm Frank Felico of the Felico Group, and on this week's segment of Thoughts from the Red Chair, we're gonna try and figure this mess out. Toronto City Council is increasing developmental charges by adding literally tens of thousands of dollars to the cost of building most new homes. This in the midst of our city suffering a housing affordability crisis. Builders have warned that the higher charges for most homes will lead to less overall construction, reducing the inventory. What's crazy to me is just this morning you may have heard or caught Mayor John Tory on radio emphasizing his plan to create more housing. All this really seems confusing and counterintuitive. How can city officials tell us, the citizens of Toronto, that they plan to create more housing to bring affordability down while making it more expensive for builders to build in the first place? Something just doesn't add up. You're probably sitting there saying, Frank, why the F do I care what happens to a builder? Let me put it to you this way. So I'm helping Brian and Victoria who want to buy a new place. Under this new plan, they go to a builder and what would have cost them $750,000 now jumps to $800,000 for no other reason other than government extra fees. They lose and the builder loses. Needless to say, the costs have now grown so steep in the GTA that builders are thinking of killing future projects altogether during a time when housing is needed most. This will affect the builders, yes, but who will it affect most? You guessed it, you, the consumer, especially the people that are just barely making it into the market as it is. It's no wonder that builders are finding it harder and harder to price out new construction between government fees and supply chain issues in a post-COVID world, they're dealing with fluctuating costs all over the place. But what does this mean to you? Well, consumers look for certainty when buying, and if new construction keeps going in this moving the goalpost direction, it means less secure projects and pushes more and more consumers into the resale sector, forcing prices up even further. I'm curious, tell me what you think. Leave a comment below, we want to hear from you. More thoughts from the Red Chair next week. Next week. Next week.